Well, if you're looking to start your weekend on the water, we may be able to help with that. That's right. It's the third annual Bluffs Landing in the Water Boat Show and Expo. And that's where we find Sunrise reported Chelsea Torres this morning at <laughs> Bluffs Landing in Flower Bluff to tell us more. Good morning, Chelsea. Having a good time, apparently. <laughs> hey there. Good morning. Hey there, good morning guys. Well, the third annual Bluffs Landing Boat Show and Expo will kick off today at 1 p.m. And although there will be a variety of boats and vendors, they're also doing something big. They're trying to get a bunch of donations for the Coast Guard who are being effective from the government shutdown. The last 35 days have been tough for federal workers. And here in the coastal bin, the United States Coast Guard continues to save lives even without pay. The Coast Guard is there whenever we need it. At, at any time. They don't ask questions. They're always on. They're always they're always at the ready. Corpus Christi Seato owner and veteran Brandon Upton says it was important to him to find a way to help. We have a really good working relationship with the Coast Guard that, you know, it goes back decades. And uh, when it has happened, it really hit home for me. As part of the third annual Bluffs Landing Boat Show, Upton knew the boating community could come together in a big way. The boat show coming up, we kind of thought that we would uh, use this platform to be able to raise donations for the Coast Guard. Donations will come in through raffle tickets sold at the boat show. All the items, they're, they're going to be on the table at the CETO booth, and uh, for every ticket that you buy, it gives you one, one chance to win any of the items. Items like Yeti coolers, fishing trips, fishing rods and reels, plus more. All donations raised from the raffle, including non-perishable food items, will be given to the Coast Guard after the boat show.